Here we see this now, and of course it, from the top it looks very beautiful. Right. But I'm sure there's a lot going on underneath it. Right. So tell us a little bit about what procedures you went through right. to come to this conclusion. What is going on under this footing? Okay, so we used the base grid mm -hmm. as the arena base okay. and put your footing on top of it. So underneath this sand that we so see is base. everywhere, that's right. the base. And you can see how much it flexes, that mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. so spring and bounce is already coming up from the right. base. And I'm assuming that this grid also prevents um, a rolling type of procedure in the sand that keeps it more stable and, and in place, is that right. correct? Right, now what it mainly does, it is a, a lifelong separation layer between your base and your sand, meaning that none of the uh, natural soil rocks can, mm -hmm. or clay can migrate into your footing. I see. We used water lines, the drip lines, and... For the watering system. For the watering system, this is the new way for irrigation which we put uh, underneath the grid mm -hmm. so the capillary effect of the sand pulls the moisture up mm -hmm. so you won't feel it you won't hear it you have perfect moisture throughout i see so this so this arena is watered and from the arenas of similar type of construction are actually watered underground right and is it a manual system that waters it or is it a computerized system? It's, it's computerized. I uh, see. It works just like you use a timer for your overhead sprinkler. Mm -hmm. It's going in uh, six cycles. So one cycle drips for three to five minutes. The next cycle starts five minutes and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's all computerized. It's, it's maintenance free. I see. So you just program your computer and you have the perfect moisture throughout. I see. And these, the advantage to this type of watering system versus the overhead watering system. It, it's what the, even more Talk to us a little bit about right. that. Overhead sprinklers and everybody who has installed overhead uh, sprinklers in the past, very, very tricky to get even moisture in. Uh, you always will have overlapping of two sprinklers, meaning mm -hmm. you would have a big water paddle. No in watering middle, in certain sections. And no less watering, watering at, the, at, at the track where the overhead sprinkler mm -hmm. sticks out. Plus, in windy conditions, talk mm -hmm. outside, mm -hmm. um, it's almost impossible to water from, from mm -hmm. above. This must be very advantageous to warm climates like Florida. It's yeah, uh, or, or, dr or in very California. And, and dry climates. But uh, because this system uses 50% of the water instead of going with right. overhead sprinklers. Just right. Yeah. Well, a another thing that would come to mind for me is that this type of system prevents the kick walls from being constantly exactly. watered. Exactly. And exactly. because that you can't be good for the kick walls. Yeah.